is Sharon, Sharon Bernard, Sharon Bernard. We're waiting for a flight to go to LA. My surprise birthday present. Brian doesn't want to be on camera because he's groggy. Hey, I friend now is mad early. And Miss Hampton Moy, excited. So we just got here. Uh, I'm so excited. The flight was pretty good. Um, a little bumpy, which I guess is expected as you <clears throat> go over the Midwest, especially like where like the Grand Canyon is and all that stuff. It was kind of bumpy, so it was a little scary. But um, the flight was, was good. It was pretty smooth overall for the most part. Uh, I'm just here looking at a whole list. I'm just here looking at a whole list of things to do because because this trip was a surprise, I like tried to plan some things, but I still like don't really know what we're doing right now. We're just like tired and hungry. So I really want to eat. That's the number one thing. But it's early. It's only 12:30, and so we have the whole day. And it's Friday, today's my actual birthday. So I keep forgetting that it's my birthday, which is funny because I've, I've never traveled on my birthday before. And so like, I'm like excited because I'm like, oh shit, I'm in LA. And then I'm like, oh wait, it's my birthday too. So I'm excited. I don't know what we're gonna do. There's a lot of things. Obviously I wanna go see Hollywood. I don't know, like I definitely wanna go there today, but we also have a tour book tomorrow. It's like the, the bus tour that takes you to like Rodeo Drive and it takes you to um, see like the celebrity homes and stuff. And so I don't know exactly what they're covering on the tour, but I definitely want to hit like the Hollywood Strip today because we're fucking <laughs> in Los Angeles. So excuse my cursing, my excitement. Um, there's also, oh, what the hell is that? This um, hotel is a little weird too because like our window is the hallway so we could just see people walking by which l looked a little creepy right now because I'm talking and like somebody just walked by. So anyway, they have so many things here like there's a, a Chinatown which I think would be cute like I heard a lot about um, LA Chinatown, um, Disneyland which I don't know if we're gonna get a chance to go to Disneyland or, or go to Universal even though I really want to out of the two I think I would do Universal and then there's there's Rodeo Drive of course like I said which I want to spend time on I don't know the tour tomorrow is only like two hours I think so I don't know how much time we're actually spending on each of the stops but I like I want to walk like Rodeo Drive and like might treat myself to another little something because it's my birthday I've been Wallen, like Wallen. I didn't even show you guys. So I bought the bag. I bought the the Soho Disco, and I did a video, like unboxing it. And I love this bag. Like, let me tell you, I just bought um a tripod. Like, I, I finally have a stabilizer for this damn camera because, like, trying to vlog while holding it, like that was one of the things that made me not want to vlog because it's so uncomfortable to do, and the camera would just constantly look shaky and look weird, and so I didn't want to do it. But now that I have the stabilizer, I literally bought one on Amazon for like thirteen dollars, and so I was like, now I know why everyone has one of these because. It makes such a difference like it's so much more comfortable the camera is actually stable like I am in love but anyway back to the bag I am obsessed because even with the stabilizer my camera my phone my my uh, little card holder which I'm gonna show you that I just bought like I can fit everything I have gum I have my keys I have everything in here and so I'm just obsessed with it I've just literally like I don't know what's happened to me, but I haven't been watching makeup videos on YouTube. I've been watching bag videos and small leather goods, and I just have like the only sick, expensive ass obsession with designer shit. And and it's not that I need anything or, or anything, but it's just so nice to watch somebody unbox a nice bag and then tell me what fits in it and what they keep in there because you just get different ideas and then like I knew that I wanted this bag for so so long and like I I find myself forever like or I should say I 
I can't even talk. <laughs> I think that I will always keep this bag because it is awesome. The color is gorgeous. This is the Camellia Rose Beige color. But if you want to hear more about the bag, you can watch my unboxing. But anyway, the whole reason that I brought it up was because I just bought the um, Yves Saint Laurent monogram card holder. I bought this like two weeks ago i want to say and i've just been obsessed with card holders like i stopped carrying my actual wallet because this is just so much more convenient especially in a situation like this where i want to pack so much stuff like this is all i'm going to take with me when i go to like walk the strip and all of that and it carries my camera and the freaking tripod of course i have to unscrew the tripod but who cares i knew i wanted a card holder i knew when i got the bag that i wanted to buy a card holder too and so I was torn between this one and the uh, Gucci Marmot card holder. Um, that one I wanted in like the nude color. And and then I was torn with this one with, with black. And so <clears throat> I don't know, maybe because more people have this one so I was able to see it a lot more. Like I found a lot more reviews on YouTube and you know unboxings and pictures and stuff like that of this one as opposed to the Gucci Marmot which you know it, it's not that i wanted this because everybody had it but more so because i knew that a lot of people had it and a lot of people liked it and they were the same price and whatever and i love that it has um four slots and i actually doubled up my cards so i have my id my cards here like my debit cards i have credit cards in the back and then my new york metro card so i love it and then there's also like a slot in the middle for cash. I, I really, really like it. Walking up the Oscar steps of the Dolby Theater. Here's the red carpet. Guys, look at where the Key Australia store is. I wish it was open. I would definitely buy some sunglasses. I look crazy. Yeah, this is like the best birthday ever. Where are we going? I don't even know where we're going. <gasps> I just fall off this wall. South in LA. Listen, come wait. I made it with but I think no, with you, you actually were very tight the whole time. And you waited for exactly a long time. Leave it to me to spill everything all over myself while I'm trying to take a few pictures. So the bartender just brought me and Brian blowjob shots. I've never taken one before. So what am I supposed to do? Put the whole thing in your mouth and then put it back. I'm really scared. This can't go on YouTube. I'm not gonna put it like this. I don't even like whipped cream. You have to. You have to do the whole thing. I'm gonna take the whipped cream out. Nah. Nah, that's not how you do it, man. You gotta put the whole thing over your mouth. No, I'm not gonna do it like that. Nah, that's not how you take the shot. How you take the shot? Oh, man. Terrible. Oof. Thank you. 
Walking to the Hollywood sign. I'm so angry right now because I freaking got Cheetos on my dress. Like a freaking fatty. And I'm wearing white. <sighs> Leave it to me. This is really. My sandals. There's the Hollywood sign. There is the Hollywood sign, guys. to be one of the largest in this area and up until about eight months ago it used to belong to the famous movie producer quentin tarantino so we got a little bit of celeb history going on there all right let's get out the car this is a lot of property right here for jayla raider yeah get out it keeps going it keeps going it keeps going oh keeps going keeps going and then all of a sudden the wall itself turns into a lookout tower slash apartment and this is where her bodyguards and security stays when she's here and she is not there if she was there, guys, you'd look up there and you'd see a guy in that window up there watching this driveway. Factory definitely takes the cake with this passion fruit mojito. Not only is it beautiful, but it's so good. Brian's trying to quiz me on my salsa expertise right now. It's not happening. This looks so nice out here. Venice Beach. We made it. We just had an awesome brunch. It's our last day here, so we're sad. 
but we're gonna watch we're, we're gonna watch we're gonna walk all of Venice Beach Santa all the Monica. way up to Santa Monica hopefully we make it because it's a long walk it's like an hour but I think we can do it walking on the beach like just the fact that I'll be able to put my feet in the Pacific Ocean right now I've never been to this side like the waters on this side I've never been to California beaches I've never been to Hawaii Mexico nothing so this will be my very first time in the Pacific Ocean definitely gonna vlog that moment right now we're on the boardwalk what you got a you got a park that's coming up on your left with the bus. Dog. Oh. <laughs> hey <laughs> We're walking along this pier. Loving California. I want to move here so bad. I'm just so gonna say it. You can walk, it. Over, there. You can walk over that way. Oh no, he's on a surfboard. Never mind. Uh, park 